Hello everyone, and thanks for tuning in to another episode of Ask Gary, and I appreciate the opportunity to respond to your questions and provide regular updates. Yes, and I'm delighted to share that we have reached an agreement in principle with the U.S. Department of Treasury on the payroll support program under the CARES Act. As a result, we'll receive the funding support necessary to protect the jobs of our more than 60,000 employees through at least September. And of course, it's always been among our top priorities to provide job security, but I'm most proud of the fact that we've never had a single involuntary furlough in our 49-year history, which is unprecedented in aviation. I'm grateful to our nearly 21,000 Southwest employees who sent a combined 66,000 letters to Congress leading up to the passage of the CARES Act, and I want to especially thank our folks in finance and governmental affairs uh, and our legal departments uh, for their hard work to make this happen. We're extremely appreciative of the work of our federal leaders. They recognize the health and economic crisis our nation is currently facing due to COVID-19. Airlines are important to our overall national economy, uh, the supply chain, and the nation's future recovery after the crisis subsides. So we applaud the quick action by the Department of Treasury to infuse liquidity into the economy and to try to keep businesses open and people on the job, and that certainly includes the airlines and our employees. My sincere thanks to Secretary Mnuchin and his entire Treasury team who have been working around the clock uh, over the past few weeks to implement the core elements of the CARES Act. As far as Southwest goes, we expect to receive at least $3.2 billion under the program, and that is a lot of money and it's consisting of approximately $2.3 billion in payroll support and nearly $1 billion uh, in an unsecured loan. The loan will include approximately 2.6 million warrants, uh, which is uh, the right to acquire one share of Southwest stock for up to five years. The program includes certain conditions, such as prohibitions against involuntary furloughs and reductions in employee pay and benefits. Again, that's through September of this year. The elimination of share repurchases and dividends until at least September of next year, and limits on executive compensation until March of 2022. We'll disclose the final terms once we execute this agreement in principle. But this is very good news. Much needed support for our company to get us through the tough months ahead. Some of you have asked if this will be enough to get us through this crisis. Even this assistance won't fully offset the losses that we are incurring in April and expect in May. And it's just simply too soon to know what the world will be like 90 or 100 in days from now. We just don't know how long it will be until things are back to normal uh, and what that new normal might look like. But this certainly helps us protect jobs through September, as do your efforts to help save money and uh, take, uh, do things like taking emergency time off, LWOP, and TOWOP. We pride ourselves on transparency at Southwest and on offering some of the most customer-friendly policies in the industry. Due to COVID-19, many of our customers are unable to fly as they normally would. And of course, uh, this will impact their ability to achieve the coveted benefits of our A-list, A-list preferred, and companion pass tier statuses. We're making a one-time change to our 2020 tier status expiration dates. Customers who currently hold A-list or A-list preferred status will keep their status until December 31st of 2021. And members who currently hold uh, companion pass benefits will keep their status until June 30th of 2021. We're also boosting tier and companion pass qualification points and flight activity, making it easier for our customers to achieve tier or companion pass status this year. So that helps them through this period where they're not flying. So more, de more details on that are on southwest.com. 
Uh, there's no action required on our customers' parts. Uh, these adjustments will happen automatically. They'll be reflected in Rapid Rewards My Account pages in the coming days. And uh, turning now to travel funds, we previously extended travel funds to June 30th of next year uh, for those with existing reservations, providing our customers more time to use them. As we continue to adapt to the current landscape, we're now extending the expiration date of these funds through September the 7th of 2022. So that's giving customers an additional two years from now to use their travel funds. We have added additional flexibility for Rapid Rewards members who have travel funds during this same period of time, giving them the option to convert those funds into Rapid Rewards points that don't expire and are fully transferable. We're working to build this capability and customers will be able to make this conversion once we have the functionality in place. And we're glad to be able to do all this so when our customers are ready to travel again with Southwest, the benefits they've come to know and love will be waiting there for them.